You are watching ILFL Soccer Nights. Sponsored by Mashu. Ebon Hope and Eagle. We're back. It's part two of ILFL Soccer Night here on the Monday, your final show of 2013. We are now going to see the game that you saw partially in the first part, and that was the game between Leighton Stone and Tower Hamlets. It was top of the table clash as it was billed. Whoever won would be number one for Christmas and the end of 2013. Who is it going to be? Let's see what happened yesterday in the game between Leighton Stone and Tower Hamlets. Here we go.
battle game today. Uh, conditions were quite, the wind had a lot to do with it, but it was a hard, hard full game. Um, we made it a bit hard for ourselves. We took the lead quite early, but um, as we always do, we made it a bit hard for us. Yeah, I would just like to echo the same thoughts as Bradley here. You know, we we started well. You know, got our two, we went two goals up. Then after that, we let them come back into it, but we finished them off in the end. The boys battled well. Um, the conditions didn't help us, but I think that at the end of the day, we showed our quality showed through. It was end up being routine victory for us, really. Yeah, just to echo what they said, it was a difficult start. I think we. Started dominate the first half. It was a top of the table class, so we knew what was on stake. The Gaffer set our strong team. He wanted us to win. He's a good team talk. End of the day, we've done the job. Three points, top of the table, I think. Quality. So there it was. The winners earned the top spot, and the winners were Leighton Stone beating Tower Hamlets by three goals to one. And they've come to join us on the stage. It's like a party. We have two guests uh, from a successful Leighton Stone team this season. But I'll talk to you, uh, Omar. Good evening. Thanks for coming in this evening uh, to talk about Leighton Stone. Um, how does it feel to be top of the pile now? Well, to be honest, last week we weren't, and this week we are, so we're not getting any carried away with it. We're just trying to keep our feet on the ground and play our football. How try. close has it been uh, throughout the season? Because this is your, this is your first season now in the ILFL, yeah. so how's it been going for you? Well, it's been up and down, actually. We won a few games. We started off quite badly, lost, um, drawn, lost, and then we started winning a few games, I think about five, six together. Then, again, a bit of imbalance, draws, losses, and then we won again yesterday, so... Just trying to keep our feet on the ground. So when you came into the league, what were your expectations? Was it just about take each game as it comes? I know that's the old cliche, <laughs> take each game as it comes, but was it just about seeing where you fit in the league or did you come in with high expectation? Yeah, to be honest, we always, we always have high expectations of our players. We put a lot in, a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment. So we always believe that if we put our mind to it, we can do anything we like. But like you said, the old cliche, we just take every game as it comes, but we are planning to hopefully go for the title. And you have done that, um, as you've said, um, <coughs> Each game has come, you've played each one of your opponents in the division now. Was this the toughest game? Um, not quite. I think there were a few tougher ones uh, in the name of West End. West End gave us a few hard games. But Tower Hamlet's last game we had with them, the first game of the season, that was pretty tough. That was really tough. This one, not so much but because they were missing key players. But I still think that West End <laughs> caused us quite a few problems both times we played them. So I think they want to watch out for. So come on, give everybody an insight into there must be a little bit of a weakness into Leighton Who are you not looking forward to meeting <coughs> in the new year? <coughs> to be honest, we, we don't fear no one. I think first division, Premier Division, whoever it is, League Cup, that's when we can face any team. I think we look forward to facing anyone. We want to show people what we're made of and the only way you can do that is by beating the best. So we're looking forward to the London Tigers games and the Stepney games. So hopefully we pull out a big team in the League, league Cup draw Ooh, next week. You heard it here <laughs> on ILFL Soccer Night. Leighton Stone are looking for you in the next round of the Cup. Those Cup draws will take place next week, so tune in for that. We've got three Cup draws next week. We'll tell you more about those later on in the show. Let's take a look at the rest of the results that happened in the First Division yesterday. Um, Bow and West End uh, played out a one-all draw. West End slipping up at the top now. Stepney B continuing their impressive form now. I think that's three out of three now. You beat Illtown by six goals. So three they were in last week, Illtown. Lotus and Bromley, a, a free all draw. Lotus will be happier than Bromley, I'm sure. Um, only a point there. SCTA improving again, and now they've got their season back on track. Seven goals they put past Weavers. Weavers only managing three. St. Catharines, uh, maybe a mini shot there, going down by four goals to one. St. Catharines really needed those points to stay in touch with the teams above them, but Burdett now overtake them in the division. And as we've seen down there, we now have Tower Hamlets um, losing to Leighton Stone by three goals to one. And we can see what it does to the division. Uh, Leighton Stone now sitting top 29 points from 13 games. Tower Hamlets two points behind them. West Ham a further point. In fact, the top five are now covered by seven points. And West Ham have a game in hand. So um, it's still a little bit hard to call, isn't it, Rash? What's going it's on there? It's very close with the top three teams. But uh, the, surprising, the surprise result for me is the Bedettes. Uh, they beat Leighton Stone last week, they beat St. Catharines, which wasn't expected, and they're creeping up the table with, with only a few points. Similar with St. Catharines, if those Burden and St. Catharines can get a few more wins, and if the top three lose points, they can come, come in the mix now, but which we didn't ex anticipate a few weeks back. But you, you, you say it was a little bit of a surprise. You, you talk about it being more of a surprise for them to have beaten St. Catharines than Leighton Stone. I mean, let's, let's, let's ask the Leighton Stone boys yeah. now that you're here. What, uh, did, they, did they outplay you, or was that more of a Leighton Stone blip? Um. I would say it was a bit of a blip. 
to be honest. We didn't start like we usually do. We get early. We didn't get early goal. We st it was a really bad start. And I think, to be honest, they did deserve the win. You can't take it away from them. They fought hard. And I think one of their wingers, left winger, he, he was the man of the match. He literally, pace every time, pa pacey, very pacey. Pretty. Every time we got the ball, went through, crossed it in, got a couple of goals, I think, as well. So I think, honestly, they did deserve it on the day. But we should have shown up better. better. Should have shown up I think the top five, I think it's pretty tight. And, and I know I've heard, we've got the guys in here from Leighton Stone. Let's just pretend that they're not here. And I'm playing devil's advocate a little <coughs> bit. Um, I, I'll ask you about it, cameras. I still think that any one of the top five can be beaten by anyone else in that top five. I, I think it's, it's, it's all about that top group. I mean, forget about what's going on below. I watched, um, for example, I watched Bo uh, against West End uh, yesterday. And I thought Bo gave as good as they got and were not outplayed by West End and, and, and could have won the game. It's, I mean, for football, it's, it's a very good thing that uh, teams like Bedet and, and Bo and uh, Step Nibby are improving. I think if you look at the, the 12 teams, those three teams are the most improved teams from how they started. How they started, yeah. The season. And rightfully, like you said, they can now beat any of the other teams. Um, we expected higher things of SCTA. Obviously, they've had a very bad start but even but they're, still a, now, they're still a team yeah, to watch I mean, out for now as well of course and they've just won what four on the bounce now so they're, they're looking to go up and they've got two games in hand um obviously if they got the if they get those six points then they'll be up at six i think so they, they'll cause problems uh there are teams above them as well again um we've got games on the 5th of january we've got a one week break and then we come back on the 5th of january and there are fixtures for everyone to look forward to uh, in the first division and they are uh, Burdett a take on uh, West End now uh, can Burdett make it three wins out of three against teams they're not supposed to beat well let's see Leighton Stone take on Weavers Lotus and Bo have their own fixture SCTA v Stepney B will be an interesting game again uh, two emerging teams as was just said by cameras St Catharines will want to get back to winning ways against Illtown and Tower Hamlets take on uh, a flagging and failing Bromley Juniors. What's going on with Bromley, Rush? Uh, that should be a good tie, actually, because the last time round, Bromley Juniors actually beat Ter Hamlet. So, obviously, Ter Hamlet's got a score to settle. So, hopefully, that should be a cracking match on the day itself. But Bromley Juniors, overall, I'm very disappointed. Beginning of the season, they're flying high, winning a few games, and actually, we're thinking of the title. And mm. since then, week three, I think they're going downhill. Even draw with Lotus, I think, will be seen as a bad result. So, I'm not sure exactly what the situation is with Bromley, but... Hopefully with Tam, it uh, should be an interesting match on the 5th of January. Um, I can't ignore the SCTA game against Stepney B. That's a, that's a difficult tie for both teams. I, I, well, yes, because both teams are winning, both teams are improving. So it will be interesting to see how they f fare after the two weeks break. Because the break can you know, improve you or it can take you back yeah, down again. Absolutely. So it will be very interesting to see. Um, just coming back to Bromley, I mean, yeah, we've been a bit harsh on, on Bromley. But I mean, they've got three clubs in our division so I think um, in that respect it's quite difficult to maintain one team mm. let alone three. three. So I, I, th I think spread a little bit thin. They, yeah they, they've obviously spread their players uh, to make sure all three teams are balanced but if they were to amalgamate and make one team then I'm sure they'll be flying pretty high. different could happen there. Um, the guys from Leighton Stone are going to be sticking around for the third section of the show where we will talk about the Veterans League and all things ILFL. So stick around. We have to take another short break and we'll be back after these messages. You are watching ILFL Soccer Nights. Sponsored by Mashery. Ebon, Hope and Eagle. 